everybody, welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Nate Rogers in for Bill Spadia. Well, it's definitely been the talk of the town in New Jersey today, and now New Jersey 101.5 hosts Dennis Malloy and Judy Franco are apologizing after being suspended from their midday show. It all started with an exchange on air Wednesday where Malloy said he couldn't remember New Jersey Attorney General Gerbeer Graywald's name. He added, quote, I'm never going to know his name. I'm just going to say the guy with the turban. If that offends you, then don't wear the turban, man, and I'll remember your name. Malloy and Franco then repeatedly referred to Graywall as Turban Man. Graywall is the state's first Sikh attorney general. On Twitter, he responded to the host saying, quote, I'm the 61st attorney general of New Jersey. I'm a Sikh American. I have three daughters, and yesterday I told them to turn off the radio. Malloy and Franco's comments were made while the two discussed Graywall's recent decision to suspend New Jersey's marijuana prosecutions. The radio station called the comments offensive and announced Wednesday the team would be suspended for 10 days without pay. Malloy and Franco issued this apology in part saying, we offer our sincere apologies to Attorney General Gerbeer Graywall as well as the Sikh and Asian communities. We try to do humor in our show every day with current commentary and we try to brighten up people's days and yesterday in our attempt at humor uh, on Wednesday we failed at that and we apologize for it. So on behalf of Judy and myself uh, we're very upset and deeply affected by this and again our apologies and we thank you for listening. Now we'd also like to note that Chasing News host Bill Spadia who's on vacation this week hosts the morning show on NJ 101.5 and is not affiliated with the Dennis and Judy show. Let's turn now to our A-plus panel for more on the story. Jeanette and Bill, what are your thoughts, Bill? First, is this racist or was it a joke gone too far? It's highly inappropriate. Start there. Uh, for those that tune in fairly regularly, and I do listen to 101.5 fairly regularly, and Dennis and Judy, this isn't uncommon. I, my, my issue with this is it's not funny. I mean, th this wasn't humor. This was, it was really crass. And, you know, I think that you're seeing, rightfully so, the public outcry for it. Um, it was offensive and it was stupid. And it was completely ignorant. Yeah. Nate. I mean, that's what I took away from yeah. it. And what the most offensive part, I thought, was when Dennis said, well, if he wants me to know what his name yeah. is, remember his name, then he shouldn't wear a turban. Mm. Are you kidding me? So if you look a little bit different, you're not worthy of me remembering your name? Sure. I mean, that to me was the most offensive part. Also, Jeanette, Governor Murphy weighing in on this, condemning these comments. And I absolutely think Governor Murphy was right. I mean, uh, Attorney General Graywall is the highest ranking law enforcement official in New Jersey. The governor is right to have his back. Well, Jeanette, just to pick you all's brand a little bit further, how is this case different than any others. Like we said, you know, they've made inappropriate jokes, comments for years. Oh, yeah. They've been on the radio 20 years and this really isn't the first time. So why now? Could it be the mounting pressure from Governor Murphy, the attorney general and the seat community? You get two things going on. Number one, yeah, I think they have done this over time and I think they've been equal opportunities, uh, uh, equal, equal opportunity offenders, but it's been done in a context of humor and, you know, you don't take yourself so seriously and you laugh. But this wasn't that. It wasn't even uh, funny. This wasn't yeah. funny. It was over the top offensive. And whatever's motivating the backlash, we are in a different culture right now. Yeah. They seem to understand that there was potentially a problem here and then dug in deeper. So last, yeah. qu last question, Jeanette, what is the lesson for radio hosts, for news reporters? If you still want to be yourself, be comedic a little bit, what should you do? or not do? Well, don't be racist. How about that? I mean, it's not that hard. You know, you're on TV all the time, Nate. You know, Bill and I come on the show and just respect other people's cultures. Absolutely. All right, guys, we'll leave it there. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks.